This clip is a quick preview of the transitions inside my first pack. If you want to check the effects, you can watch the other video if I'm not so stupid, it should also be somewhere on the screen right now. I will start with the transition I like the most, the neon wipe. You will find the transitions under the transition menu in the effects library. Like with most of my transitions, you can select the transition and in the inspector tab you have some controls to make it the way you like. In this one, you can change the threshold of the mask and change the color. If you want, you can animate each of the sliders, of course. Another example is the burn transition. In this one, you can control the color again, but you can also change the angle of the burn and the seethe. So basically, you can make endless variations out of this single transition. The switch transition is doing exactly what you expect. It's better to use it as a long transition. By default, this will switch between your two clips every four frames. If I change it to two, it will now switch every two frames. And if I set it to one, it will switch back and forth every frame. That's okay, but where this becomes useful is when you animate it. Use it in a long transition, make sure you are at the beginning of the transition, activate the keyframe button, and set the frame value to five. Go to the end of the transition and change the frames value to one. This way, your transition will start switching the clip slowly, and at the end, it will switch every frame. You can even set the switch to be fast in the middle and have it start and end slowly, it's up to your terrible taste. The time random transition is not just switching randomly between your clips, but also using random frames of your image. This one you can use again as a long transition, or you can make it shorter and get this time glitch-like transition. The zoom transition is not the typical boring zoom. This one is better to use as a short transition. Adjust the zoom size, the shake sliders, and play around with the threshold and glow size sliders to find out what works best for you. The flash dissolve is another one I use a lot. Again, you can adjust the sliders to create your own version. The blip luma transition will blip your image with a luminance blend. You can uncheck the color if you don't want it, or you can adjust the threshold, the tint, and the color strength. In the blip part, you have the blip cycle. By default, this will blip every four frames, and the duration is how long it will hold the blip. This is a good example to use key frames. I will activate the keyframe for the blip cycle, set it to eight, and the duration to one. Go to the end of the transition and set the blip cycle to two. But of course, I can animate the threshold slider to make it go from soft to strong, and also animate the color tint so it changes colors or animate just the threshold and keep the blip cycle at 2 and the duration at 1. With most of the transitions and effects in this pack, you have the freedom to make it your own way. Obviously, my way is better but you can't be hyper-talented like me.